what you're about to tell me. Just tell me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, that's just how we talk as caddies. <laughs> Before we start, man, I need you to give me your best dad joke, man. You've been giving them all week. My best dad joke? Give me your best. Oh, give me a good dad joke. <sighs> a good dad joke, man. Did, did you hear about the guy that fell in the well? I did not. You know why he did it? Why? He didn't see that well. <laughs> no, that, uh, that's kind of okay. There we go. That's how we go to start it. Watching my steps like I was James Harden. Guarding me is like Garden Jordan, you can't afford it. I shoot like Wardell in clutch moments. Regardless my opponents, I try to keep it honest as I write these little sonnets under wraps like my name Adonis. My daughter Nix like her name Adonis. I keep it straight as an orthodontist. Never become pompous, that's my promise. I'm conscious of the garden when my fruit tends to harvest. Yeah, yeah. Skating on tracks like I'm Sidney Crosby. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He see a real one like that. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yo, check this out. You know Steve that gave you all that great food last night? Oh, yeah. He gave me this for my 50th birthday. He's a jeweler. It's gold. That's so sweet. Nice. To J.T. Scott. Mm. Happy 50th coach, Steve, John 316. That's awesome. How cool is that? At first, when he did that, he pulled out his driver. I thought Steve gave you a driver. Nah. <laughs> I was like, I'll get you a new nah. driver. <sighs> All right, man. So we got the homie Ted Scott on the channel. Uh, Ted, I'm going to let you know there are three rules to my channel. One, I encourage everybody to love Jesus. I know you do. That's why you're the homie. Okay. Two, get one breakfast ball. After that, if you use it, no more. Is it on this first hole? If you need it. Oh, just a breakfast ball, period. Period, yeah, yes. you get one. And then uh, also, there are no gimmies on my channel. We gotta finish our putts. What, with these shaky hands, I'm 50, man. I get nervous. Uh, hey, man, yeah, again, yeah. that might be more for me and him, but I, I, I think you'll be fine. And then uh, we also got some other things too. Yeah, so it's a scramble, of course. Me and Jeremy are gonna play best ball, as you know. The homie DK is here. I'm gonna be riding with him in, uh, in and out and then with Ted sometimes. But all we asked is for five strokes. That's it? Whoa. That was pretty disrespectful. Five strokes? That was pretty disrespectful. I, mean, I thought you guys yeah, were making a challenge for me. No, I'm just kidding. We'll go five, five strokes. strokes. Five, five st strokes. Five strokes. Five strokes on a scramble? On nine holes? Okay. Five. I'll give you all four. All, all bets have lost in the first tee, so I'm going to give you all four now. Speaking of first tee, since you're the guest, you get to go first. Bro. All right. That sounds good. Let's go, fellas. Nervous, oh, that tree, man. That tree is. I mean, nervous. All right. Go. All right. Out of work. Okay. You saw where it dropped? I didn't. Okay. Did Hopefully. you see it? It was too far. I didn't see it. You don't need to take a provisional, do you? <laughs> no breakfast ball. <laughs> you sure you get one, Ted? Hey, I know you guys are about promoting Jesus, but have you ever been golf on the first tee with a PGA Tour caddy watching you? How nervous does that make you feel? I mean, I mean we did one. Knowing that I've seen the best in the world up close and personal. Yeah, we, we, we did many, one many times one over. <laughs> many times no over. No yeah. But I'm yeah. Big deal. Like, I don't... That's gonna work. Yes. That's gonna work. It's a dog leg right. Mm, okay. All right, Torrance, go, man. Good. Oh. I'm okay playing a better ball, bro. <laughs> the irony is uh, I don't have a fade in my bag right now, so we'll see what happens here. But you do, though. Not Get bad. Down. Get oh. down. Get down. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, I got a bad kick. Talk to him, DK. All right, let me get this question out real yes, quick. Sir. It's an amazing day, man. Seriously. So glad you guys are here. This is fun. Oh, I'm so fortunate to be here, man. First question, Ted. How... Uh, did you start playing golf and when did you decide I have to be a caddy? So I started playing golf when I was seven. Uh, we would spend the main holidays, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving with my grandfather in uh, Alexandria, Louisiana. So um, my grandfather played golf and they would take me out there and then uh, started playing in the summers at my dad's and then eventually started playing kind of year round in high school. And then when I got into college, I quit playing for three years. And then in 99, I started teaching golf because a lot of my friends wanted to learn. So I turned pro to teach golf. I happened to be playing really well at the time. And a guy said, hey, why don't you try to play golf instead of teaching golf? So I said, okay. So he gave me money to try to play. And I have a philosophy. If you want to be better at something, you find people better than you and spend time with them. True. So I went and uh, tried to caddy on the Corn Ferry Tour just to see what I needed to work on. And a guy asked me if I wanted to do it a few more weeks. And... Before you knew it, I was like, man, this is a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot. And these wow. guys are way better than me. Yeah. So I'm not ready. And uh, 
here I am 24 years later still trying to get ready. So, uh, <laughs> so really, I think God decided it for me. Yeah. Did you ever, um, when you were catting, obviously, the best players in the world, was there still the competitive, uh, like, fire of, like, I still might want to get out there? Or did you, over time, just became more uh, content in your role? Yeah, I think it wasn't so much content. It was more... Like, man, I don't know if I can just get to this mental ability. Oh, like, wow. you, know, you can hit some of the shots they can, maybe all the shots, but the fact when there's people watching, it means something. You get one chance at it. Can you do it? And then can you do it for four days? You know, um, when oh, I tried yeah. to play, I had uh, my best four rounds uh, were 65 four times, but I couldn't put it together a bunch of times, yeah. mainly because of nerves. You know, I just yeah. never was very good at yeah. dealing with that. And so, yeah. so I realized I was better at adding. Third grade math was much easier when I'm nervous <laughs> than uh, hitting a golf ball. So yeah, for sure. That's kind of how I approached it. Okay. Thanks, yeah. man. I got to find my ball. I have to yeah, see if I have one. an approach this, shot. This is perfect. Here. You guys get a uh, ball, and this is wide well, open. Well, I think, I don't know. Jeremy might be over there, though. Is this yours? It's yeah, him. that's mine. Y'all want to go drive over there and see? Well, mine was right there. Dang. Uh, this, is a better, this is a better angle. You got to listen. We got to listen to the caddy. You can be tricking us, bro. No, nah, because you're shooting straight up the front of the green. Over here, you got to go over that bunker. I had to go over the tree. Uh, and over the bunker. He's a caddy, man. Yeah. But look, you can just take a club length and move it where you have a line from you, your host. You, you want to see where mine is at, or you want to just go ahead and automatically play this one? He is a caddy. I'm going to listen to everything he says. Okay. Now, we have to hit it low. Go, y'all go but look at we'll, it. We'll be just, yeah, that's why I said, T-Way, come we'll look be at just it. Fine. Yeah, y'all go look at it. I don't, I don't want you to take my word. I'm just saying, typically over there, it's not He could be telling us everything here. he would not tell Scotty. That's right. <laughs> that, yeah, that's true. <laughs> there, but, there's no place you could hide Scotty, though. Scotty's IQ is... <laughs> is what it is. So, is that, hey, Ted, is that you up there? That's me way up there. <laughs> so, I'm right there. You see straight ahead? On the inside of the tree or outside of the tree? Outside of the tree. <laughs> oh, oh, hugging the. Yeah, we're on the green, we're on the grass, though. I think that's a better shot. I okay. think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. Mainly because we don't got to hit it low and. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it bunker? Dang, that was a good shot. Good swing. Where, where did he go in the bunker? bunker? Looked like he hit a good shot. I mean, it looked like it was flying nicely. I was like, oh, if it's the right distance, it's going to be good. Uh, Uh-oh, bladed it. Run, run. You're going to like Man. it. Ah, it's not bad. Okay. It's really bad. <laughs> we got there, though. <laughs> nice. That's good. Hey, That's hey, a good you shot. Get it back there, bro. Oh, I like it. That is beautiful. There we go. Nice chip. Thank you. Got a nice uphill putt. Ted, we need you to two putt here. I'm hoping to two putt. This pin's pretty tricky, actually. It's actually one of the toughest pins on the course. Hope the helicopter's not distracting. Mm -mm. No, thing you learn about me is I'm the only distraction in my head. <laughs> it's my, I'm my own distractions. Sit, sit. Mark it. We need this to stay five under. Four, four under, remember? <laughs> Look at this guy. He didn't even mark it. He knew he was gonna make it. I mean, that's just pure. I was gonna call you. I was gonna call two-stroke penalty if that didn't go in. But uh, <laughs> do whatever I gotta do to try to win this thing. You know? Man, I'm not very good at putting with the camera. Could you just <laughs> go mine, sir, Mr. Noah? <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Tied up. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> he said, <laughs> said we're confident. That's oh, fine. Yeah. And you, I can't say visually, doesn't it's look fine. like it. He Trust obviously me. knows it's fine. Man, it's fine. He knows. But I, I don't. He, I, I don't <clears throat> think he's bluffing either. He, but he. You never know, though. He could be bluffing sometimes. Well, with Ted, he's better behind trees and roots and potholes and, <laughs> and popcorn and corn candy and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Yep. There we go. DK, they, they suckered yep. me. I think. Good, good work. Five good. shots, man. Look at these guys. Hey, bro. You know what I mean? Work, man. Hey, man. A bad rain session means good golf. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Come back. You're in good shape. 
Like, I don't Mine know knows. where. Yeah, yours is, yeah. yours is perfect. Bro, I'm right here. You're the same distance, and we're in the fairway. He said, hey, Ted said, same distance, I'm in the fairway. I think he just wants to play one. 162 over there, huh? All right. What you got, 162, DK? 158. All right, yeah, yeah that was yards. close. Yeah, four yards. 158. <laughs> My line is right at the flag. Right at the flag. Like, a, a, a straight line to the flag. This is, too. All right, all right. <laughs> I like it. It's team fighting already. This is my favorite. <laughs> this is exciting. The chemistry's gone bad. Mm, bladed it. I need a better shot. I like it. The team chemistry's gone oh, south already. That's what he's. That's what he said. He said the same I thing. That. He's. I love that. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't. I haven't. I hadn't seen this one first. Yeah. Only me and DK saw that this one is over there. Over here. I mean, honestly, it's, it's too late to play that one, but this one is really tough. <laughs> He's getting in your head, bro. He's just I, mean, saying, I ain't think about that, bro. Middle of the fairway, straight down I think about to a middle tab, pin. Man. That's scary. I blame him on. To the right? Uh, yeah. Here. Yes, sir, T-Wade. What, yes, what we doing, Ted? Who is this guy? What we doing, Ted? Who is this guy? What we what what? doing, Ted? What's up, Who Ted? Who invited him? Hey, hey who invited him? That was fine. <laughs> that was fine. Who huh? invited him? What'd you say? Who invited him? Hey man, I just hopped on a plane, man. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was great. Nice slight light draw. That was great, man. Torrance, you see how tricky it was from where you were? Tough. That's man. true. <laughs> that was a that was a great decision, Jeremy, to stay there. That was. Jeremy held his ground. He was like, bro. Well, I'm, I'm saying we were in the fairway, it's still a straight shot. It's going to take a lot of, is it? Oh! oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Want me to go first again, T-Wade? What do you say? Want me to go first again? Yeah, that's fine. You got the hot hand. I told Ted that I was like, it's only been one putt, though. I guess you guys expect me to get the pin and rake the bunkers today, huh? You know what's funny? I do, I do, I do put with the pin in. You do? He you doesn't. Want, yeah. You want it back in? No, nah, I don't. It's okay. Like, if you take it, I don't care. But I never like. That's funny. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it out if you want. Hey Ted, if you say I got an RCT ball, I promise I did not take this from you. No. Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm thinking. I, th I I think you want to hit it somewhere over here. To the right. Yeah, definitely. Oh my God. You see it though. <laughs> you see it though. Hey, this guy, he's got smooth hands, man. Hey. He's got some soft hands. Some receiver hands, man. Seriously. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, I got scared it was going to break. Tap in par, babe. Tap in par. Mark it, will you? <laughs> yes, sir, T-Wade. Uh, uh, I was scared you didn't hit it hard enough. I know, well, but, I mean, oh. I'm on the Got to capitalize on those birds when they're there, yeah, man. Cause he might, he might make this, bro. I'm, I'm feeling, starting to feel like I need to make it the way you guys are playing. Pretty good. There we go. Hey. That broke a lot. All right, two pars again. All even up. Wow. Nice putt. Nice putt. Nice Thanks, brother. Yeah. That's your T-Way. Hey, man, I, I don't want to talk too much right now because <laughs> I don't. Like, usually I'll be running my mouth, but right now, like, I got, yeah, yeah, I got to, I got to take, I do, man, I do. That's exactly the spot he said, too. I know. We're good, though. That's the flight right there. Oh. All right, it's live. Won't hurt you. It's fine. T Way got a better one in. This, oh. this is your hole right here with this dog leg left. You yeah. Just hit that sling around the corner. Oh, I topped it, brother. Dang. Oh, oh, play mine. I got, I got a breakfast. What? The team breakfast. Do you want to use it now? I have. I mean. Yeah, I want to use it right now. Is mine okay? You're okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, mine's it's, okay. It's a three shot hole from where you are. He That's good, not risky now, bro. Because think about it. We're, we're still up five. We par both first Four. Right. Four. Right. I four. I don't know. Five keeps coming up. <laughs> okay, I, I heard an agreement to four. We got it on video, don't we? Can we, can we rewind the tape? No. We got a video of you saying it. I don't know if we signed the contract to it. 
I heard him. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> what I heard. Yo, Ted, do I t did, was that top because I, I would come to inside, or what, what would be a reason you would top the drive? Well, if I threw a punch at you from right here, would I hit you? No. Mm. So I was too far from it. At, at Not necessarily the address, but when you were swinging, you got too far from the ball. Wow, that's good analogy. So you want to hit it down there um, short of that bunker. Okay. And that bunker is, there's a pine tree on the right that's pretty near the end of it. So the, probably the max you'd want to hit it here would be 245. Okay. And to the hole, you're looking at 343. So Sam, you hit we're it. not getting an albatross here, man. No, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just saying, if you want to leave yourself a, a distance. Yeah. It's crazy because there's trees right here. Yeah. Which I, I shouldn't hit it. But the odds are sometimes the ball just likes to find the tree. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit the ground bad. All right, T-Wade. T-Wade, you want to hit it? The most you want to hit is about 245. Oh, LOL. I don't have a wood or a hybrid game right now. Perfect. So. Keep that talk up. We'll get yeah, man, you've been shot. talking negative, Keep bro. Keep talking like that. We'll give you. We'll give no, you that, was just, that was just realistic. That's just realistic. Uh, sit. Sit, 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 sit. We'll see. That one's gonna be not playable. This one's pretty hard. Could be breakfast ball time. I don't know what y'all. We're only taking breakfast ball off the tee. Off the tee, okay. <clears throat> we'll see what y'all got. Tell you one thing. I always try to tell myself golfing, man. It's Philippians three thirteen. You get what lies behind. Look forward to lies ahead. Oh, don't do it that's well. So, that's but so I good. Need to. You tell yourself that. <laughs> yeah. DK, you hear that? In so golf, awesome. man, and the NT Ways talked about this, you gotta apply Philippians 313, which says forgetting what lies behind, looking forward to what lies ahead. Especially off the, after that shot, bro. How good is that? Short term memory. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. That's not good. Kick All right. Get out of there. All right, gave us a chance. Sound yeah, like you hit a, a tree. Chance. That's bad over there. <laughs> hit that off the heel, shanked it. Right. I think this is a driver club link, right? What you think? Where right, my foot is? Probably. So one of us can punch out and one of us can go for it. I think that's probably the way to go. I mean, I think you're better hit 200 than me. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, Dang. right in the tree, bro. You saw I fall out? No. I went to the left. Ah, right in the tree, Ted. Right in the tree. We see it fall out. Yep. What happened to the punch out plan? I try to put it on my back foot and like hit low and it just blows <laughs> <it just> up. <laughs> this is a tough shot, bro. Why is this tough? Well, the pin is back there. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is you have this tree. So you, you either have to hit it high enough to clear the tree or you have to be skilled enough, which I'm not, to hit it <laughs> lower than the tree and get it to stop. Or you can just play it to the front of the green and then have a super long putt. That's a safe shot. Well, we have options. Get a good shot. That's right. Let's see. Oh, fat. Man, gosh. Do y'all say, like, baby down here, too? Or that's, oh, that's yeah, New baby. Orleans? So why am I why What did you say, baby? Um, just releasing early? No. I feel like I'm not doing but I'm yeah. doing it. Shoot. So when you move and you move here, now you're hitting, you know, you're punching here. Instead. Yeah. Dang. You're gonna like run, it. run, run. Where'd it go? Yo, go. Oh. oh, that's good. Right. That's a good miss. Almost. That's a good miss. Yeah. Finning. Bro. Oh, man. Finning the ball is so demoralizing. And I'm always hitting it fat. <laughs> oh, both our games are opposite. He, he has the hook, I have a slice, he hits it thin, I hit it fat. Someone, who was it? Pooley. Pooley said if we could just combine y'all's game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yo, that'd be a great golfer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Man. <laughs> Ted, just Ted you. <laughs> hey, see you on for birdie, huh, Ted? Yes, sir. He did it. That is a great shot. Seriously. Nice that is a really good shot from there. That is, that's a hard spot to be. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Shot T. Wade. Oh, dang it. That's all right. 
just stops. You got your man up here. But see what I'm saying? Look, look at this ball. That's why I was saying if you didn't hit yours up here, that would have happened. All right, gotta put this in. Ted's not gonna three putt. Right. <laughs> Came left. All right, Parsky. Thank you, sir. In there. Man, nice. that Man. is just walking it nice. in. I mean, Kevin Nah. Where are you whenever I need I just, you on my team? You know what I'm hitting putts like that. Him, <laughs> Great putt. That's All right. Awesome. What was that? A five or a six? It's it a bad six. bogey. Well, a good right. bogey, I guess. Well, I, 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 we're down to three strokes oh, yeah. now. That's good. That makes it fair. I like down it. to four. <laughs> like three shots. It is. That's neat. That's neat. You've been caddying for over 20 years. All right. So I want you to consolidate that and tell me top three moments you've been a part of. And if you can, if they're not interchangeable, top three shots you've seen from the guys you've caddied. Okay, so top three moments. My first uh, interaction with Tiger Woods was 2000. Mm. Um, I was three months into caddying. We were playing the Canadian Open. Tiger won the U.S. Open and the uh, British Open in the same year. And only Lee Trevino had won those two and the Canadian Open in the same calendar year. Mm. So he decided to play the Canadian Open because he's like, hey, I'm yeah. going to get some of that action. So we ended up getting paired with him. I was caddying for Grant Waite in the final round, sold out tournament, and uh, we're coming down the last hole. He had a one-shot lead. We hit it down the middle, hit it on the green. He was in the greenside bunker. You might remember the shot. Some people say it's the greatest shot he'd ever hit in his life. Uh, six iron out the bunker over water, and I was standing tw 25 yards away from him. So uh, that was pretty cool to see the greatest player playing in his greatest year. Mm. And unfortunately, he beat us by one, but it was still pretty cool. That was a neat shot that I'll never forget. And I was like, man, caddying's kind of fun. This is, this is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, you know? for sure, for um, sure. It's not always like that, yeah, but it yeah. is. So that was the probably the first really cool moment. Um, I remember a moment with, with Bubba. I think the first time Bubba shot 80 mm. was one of the coolest moments um, that I ever had as a caddy, and not because my pro played bad. And I told him this. I said, I really enjoyed today. And he's like, why? You know, and I said, because you had a great attitude today. Mm. You know, and I think oftentimes uh, spiritually we, we identify ourselves as a golf score, mm -hmm. as uh, I am an 80, I am a bogey. And, um, you know, for the first time that day, he didn't really identify himself. He was frustrated afterwards, but it was like he just had a great attitude all day in the worst round I'd ever seen him play. So I, that made a huge impact on me. I was like, that's how I want to be. I want to I live my life out that way mm -hmm. where I'm not good at it, but that's where circumstances don't change my attitude. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say, um, you know, obviously – the shot that Bubba hit out, out the trees was a pretty cool <laughs> shot. Um, the four putt that Scotty had on 18 to win the Masters, we had some hilarious conversation <laughs> yeah, on that. Yeah, for sure. You know, those are funny moments that I just yeah. think about like, wow, how am I a part of this? And then what are we doing four putting? And Scotty just was celebrating before he finished the hole. And he's like, we need to get serious. I'm like, yeah, you know, so so those are some really incredible moments that, that have been part of my journey that, uh, that are just fun, you know? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I hope that uh, we're able to have some fun on this next hole yes. and uh, get our stroke back. Yes, I would yes. love for you not yeah. to do that. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody forget one of these? Club head cover? Wow, I just I, I just stole this from your house. Well, not stole, but I just <laughs> yeah. got this as a gift. That's it. Is that on camera? And I would have lost it. Stole it. Hey, let me see this thing, man. <laughs> hey, speaking of stealing, so, hey, shout out to these guys are trying to steal five shots from me, but it's four. Shout it's four. out to the homie you know Tate. I mean? he, he gives Torrance it's four. Ryder Cup. <laughs> No, where's the question? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, your favorite. Your favorite. What's? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get it! What's All right, the, what's, good shot. what's the yardage? Thank you. One twenty-six. Twenty-six. Uh oh, he did it. Thank God. Oh, it's fading. Go, away. go. All right, that's, that's good. safe. That's fine. Okay. Oh, he hit DK's ball. He did. Hey, he actually hit it. Ted, ball. that was good advice too. Oh. Ted stuck it to like six feet. Stressful. Can't even no get the ball out of my pocket. That's no, it. you got you got a bad break. It was spinning and it yeah. hit DK's ball. I think it kicked it off the green actually. It's a penalty for DK. Yeah, that's right. That's it. <laughs> good job, yeah, Wade. That is nice. Get down. Get down. You good? Oh, it's gonna stay on top though. No. I wanted it rolled down. If that would have came back, it'd come all the way to the hole. That's the problem with those thin shots, man. So, in your, in your caddy's advice, do we play mine or we play his? Hit play, play you're you're going to want to play yours most okay. likely, but we'll see when we get up there. But his is going to be fast. I like it. Torrance has been on my channel five times. DK, why are you helping he the Colts, it. man? I appreciate it, man. You, you, you know I looked first. at that line, man. You, they were out. Totally out of order. Forgive me about that. Guy. DK, what? I'm, I'm going back in the car. I'll tell you what, you're not invited next time, DK. I still love you, but you ain't invited. Not close, okay? Not too close. <laughs> 
Mm. Not enough. Not enough. Oh no. Oh no, this guy can putt. Ah, That's a good roll, sir. Higher. That's a good roll. I hate when I do it. I did that last time. I just rushed thinking it's a gimme. Please make it up. There we go, par. Good putt, Kevin. Kevin, nah. <laughs> Kevin, nah. Hit the brakes. Ah, trying to make it break. All right, another par, par. Wow. Par, par. Four strokes, but he's going to say three. <laughs> Truthfully, <laughs> this is, what'd you say? What? This is the best, this is the best we've done in four oh, yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah. it's time for y'all yeah. to fall apart. That's good. That's time to that. That's good. <laughs> Might be. Granted, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't play pooly bad. We didn't play pooly bad. I played pooly bad. This is the best I've hey, done. Hey, man, we were a team, bro. This I said the best we. I've done on TV, too. So just, just, just know we're all playing well. Dang. That could be trouble. In the trees. I see it. You got a good kick? Yeah, you got a good kick left. I hit off the, I ain't have a good grip. Ew. Thank you, T Wade. All I thought to, all I thought today, all I thought in that shot, is DK in the car. He said, at some point, at some point, your body went further from the ball. At some point, your body went further from the ball. So that's all I thought. Do not let your body get further from the ball, man. All right. So far, the thing that's good is me and Torrance are complimenting each other very well playing right now. If I had a bad tee shot. He's a good. He is a good one. Yeah, brother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so Ted, believe back in 2021, you and Bubba decided to split up after 15 years of caddying, and your your plans were to retire, go into private coaching, and just decide to do that. But one day you get a call from Scotty Scheffler asking you to be his caddy. So in saying that, were you like, man, I'm just waiting for another opportunity to caddy? Or was it something you had to like sit down and pray about and see this Lord want me to move in this direction? Yeah, I really didn't want a caddy anymore. Um, you know, I, I, I was kind of 22 years into it. You're like, all right, it's time for me to move on and do something different. I thought it was a new chapter in my life. Yeah. And uh, I got a call from a friend that knows Scotty, and he said, wow. he said, hey, man, you really need to consider this job that you're, you're about to get a phone call. This guy's amazing. He's a great human. He loves Jesus. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, now I'm starting to, mm -hmm. you know, it's more about, not necessarily caddying, but I'm thinking maybe I need to walk with this man. You know, I can mm -hmm. learn something from him. Wow. And uh, when he called me, that was the language that he used. You know, it was like, I really want to I really want to walk, at, you know, through faith, through things, and, mm -hmm. and also be really good at golf. And I thought, man, this is kind of touching all the things I love. Yeah. And uh, so then the next step was certainly to pray about it with my family. Mm -hmm. I set them down because they thought, hey, Dad's going to be home from now on, which mm -hmm. I hadn't been in 22 years. Yeah. And they, um, you know, we, great family, by the way, guys, so you know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we said, hey, let's pray for a week. And so mm -hmm. we prayed about it. We're sitting at the dinner table, started with Elijah. He's like, Dad, I really feel like you should do it. And Gabrielle said, we should do it. Not only you should do it, I said, let's pray about it for another week, yeah, you know, just yeah. to make sure. And, and I had notified Scotty that, you know, my family was going to make the decision, not, not for mm -hmm. me, based on their prayers. Mm -hmm. And it was 100% both times. So I yeah. said, okay, I guess we're doing this. And yeah. here we are two years into it. So. Hey, man, you got you guys a couple wins, a couple majors, man, yeah. which is awesome. Uh, but right now, we're still trying to beat you. We're on hole five. T. Way had the better ball, so we're going to play that ball. It does. Let's get up here where we are. <laughs> See, so he was, he was just blown away by the first time y'all met, got in town. He said, y'all just go to my house. I said, that's T, man. Yeah, I was, I was Are you like, really seriously yeah. about that? Yeah, you don't know us from Adam. Yeah, hey, you know. What I'm, I mean, okay. me and him were making jokes about this. We was like, man, what if we came to your house? Like, hey, Ted, thanks for inviting us over, but we got to rob you now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fine. Like, you would have been fine. We would have, but it's like, yeah. we, can't, we can't just do this. Yeah, I was, yeah, it's like, like yeah. come on, yeah. like, yeah. you had to do I was like, she's tough, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, that's true, yeah, that's true. She's Where you at, T? What? Where I go? I'm right there. In front, in front of Ted. Ooh. Hey, 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 where are you at? Y'all yeah, see it. Hey, zoom in. Yeah. You talking about zoom, the one that you have to punch in. through the trees? Yeah, that's next year. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we both, we both, we got to see how he hits the shot, bro. Yeah, we got to keep it low. You got buff. Yeah, Go. I don't got it's that short. in my bag. Well, no, we're closer. We can't, we're not going to project hey. that high. We keep I know, but we, still, we, yeah, we still got to, it's like a punch. It. Yeah. Hey. Hey, DK said it's going to be soft at the fringe, so it's going to die at the fringe. Yeah. So you got to hit it 
past the fringe. What did DK say to you? How'd that go? Huh, what did DK say? DK said that it's gonna be soft at the fringe. Run. Look at this guy. Run, run, Are you run. kidding me? Run, might be right. They can stop. I, I oh, like, wow, I like that's, yeah. that's DK stopped. said it was gonna be soft at the fringe. Right. I don't know if y'all heard that part. <laughs> What'd you said, use? Five, but I, I, I intentionally did that because I didn't want to get any loft. <laughs> no, yeah, but I, I, that's so funny. I want to do the same thing, but. Dude. I, I would I would play this shot like Bubba would. You see that gap right there? Get out of here, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, this is the kind of stuff Bubba, this is the kind of stuff Bubba say. Like, man, I'm thinking about going through that gap right there. And you're like, what? What gap? Right there, man. Look, it's right there. I'm like, I see where I'm ball might fit through. Yeah, man, right there. I'm like, all right, dude, sorry. And he hit it right through there. I'm like, okay, yeah. Scotty's so good, he don't even get in the trees, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, he wouldn't be over here. <laughs> we just hit from the middle of the fairway with him. <laughs> uh, oh. I just hooked it, man. Yeah. It Anna hit. Sit, 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 sit. No, you're right. Just watch the you're left. Safe. Still moving. You're safe. I think it stopped. All right. It's good to have reliable people in your mm -hmm. life, you know, what, yeah. no matter what it is. It's like, you know, yeah. it's nice to walk with people that you can count on, you know? Absolutely. And like I said, Noah's a strong believer, too. So. Yeah. Same mission. We ain't got no gators over here, do we? You know what? There's always one on this hole, but he's not here right now because the water's too low. All right. But you always see one on this hole. Like, you know, when the water gets there this time of year, it's like, it'll yeah. be hanging out. Check. You got great chipping. Dang, it just. You got really good chipping. Motion. Check the ball, bro. Mm. Nice, that's really good. Beautiful. Hey, bro. Good shot from good there. Good shot. Dang, bro. That thing kept rolling. Oh. I just missed the down grain part. Just missed it. So you're I saying two I don't know what this putt's doing, Jeremy. I don't know if it's high too or low. Firm. I don't know if it's high or low, bro. It might be high. Thinking left cup. I like your read. <laughs> I don't know if it's sarcasm. I do. I said left and I didn't do it. It's left, bro. Yeah, it's high. You're right. Mm. Dang. All right. Two bogues. <sighs> yep. That's so bogue. That's good. That's good bogue. You're never going to miss that. Oh, gosh. Both. I that bar, man. Hey Ted, I want you to play us like 18 year old Ted's like, hey man, I'm, I'm about to go on the corn ferry. Then if was a corn ferry, was the corn ferry the corn ferry at that point? Yeah. I want I'm, I want to get on the corn ferry, then I want to be on tour. That's, that's how you, I, that's how I want you that's to That's how play you want us. me to play? That's how I want you to play. You us. think he was showing mercy? It's hard for me to play like that. Driving range versus the week is first John 419. It says, we love because God first loved us. Now back to this episode of Golf and Gospel. Whoa, that was a bad kick. So that Hopefully you see my second ball. Hit that tree. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh, shoot. Hang in there. It was a great shot. I don't know why I dropped my club. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good shot. There we go. Come back. Oh, I didn't turn All right, off. you got a partner in the fairway. Yeah. 107. This can be really good. Oh, oh what? It's short. I thought you had it. Me too. What? What's the number? 107. Soft, oh, bro, yeah. Didn't turn Come over. Down. Nice. Let's get our bunker work. Oops. Hey man, look, I'm throwing my range finder yeah. down, man. You know what I mean, just do what I gotta do to be. It's a bushnel. Good shot. That's it. Yeah, it might be tough. All right, that, man. If that's long, that's gonna be tough. He's got some serious slope to it. The thing with Torrance, when he gets a conversation with somebody, he loves, he loves fellowshipping with him. I love that. <laughs> He's fellowshipping with the right guy. Yeah. Ah, uh, not enough. We got some real sand, Noah. This ain't like this ain't like Arizona. Yes. Nice. And it checked. Good shot. 
Back home, you don't know if you're hitting sand or concrete. For real. It's a good putt. Didn't turn like I thought, so. Wow, I saw yeah, a completer. That's a well. good putt. You guys both putt well. Thank you. I thought it was gonna break left. He, he doesn't know about line, does he? He's been stepping in my line. Was that part of the game plan? Wow, or? that was really disrespectful. I mean, that's just Holy like, smoke. he's done it a few Martin. times, man. Holy it's like when he reads his putts, he Holy goes like Holy smokes, this. that's awful. Weird, <laughs> that is terrible. Now he's doing it to you. Like, <laughs> that is terrible. Like, who could play that game, man? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's terrible. <laughs> he just stomped on my life. I'm off the street, clearly. I hope you knock this close. <laughs> I'm off the street, clearly. <laughs> but I can play. Dang. These are the ones that, this is the ones that kept me caddying right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm like, I don't want to do it, Daddy, don't make me do it. <laughs> Far. Thanks. All right, somebody got a club over here. Yeah. Both far. Stroke. So you and Scotty are both believers. Uh, obviously, one of the things I love about both you guys, and while in a, a round of golf, you know, even the Masters, PGA Championships, are there any subtle reminders that you give him to remind him who he's playing for? Are there any practices y'all do before, like praying together or anything? Like yeah, well, uh, right before he won the Masters on Sunday, I didn't know. You know, maybe you saw the interviews that his he, he and his wife were talking. They were, he was really struggling. He was actually crying, saying, "I don't know if I can handle this." You know, he said in his interview. And I didn't know any of that, but the cool part was um, I wore a shirt that says G-I-I-C, God is in control. And when we went to the first tee, I unzipped it and I said, hey, don't forget that you're prepared for this moment. This is what you practice for. And also don't forget who's in control, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, there's times where you're trying to help relax the person that you're with to just say, man, you know, it's not, it's not life-threatening. And sometimes it feels like it. Even playing in front of this camera today and I got a two-footer, I'm like, why am I so nervous? Yeah. You know, it's so stupid, right? Uh, we, it's because we want to do well. And so, yeah, I mean, certainly you've got to store up uh, armor for the battle. And, and it's really a spiritual battle. That's why we love this game so much. That's why, you know, um, God and golf are so intertwined because, man, you're always battling yourself in this game. And I'm kind of battling myself as a sinner, as a sinful man. I'm always trying to, Lord, help me with this sin in my life, you know. Yeah. So so they go together so well. And, yes, Scotty struggles with the same stuff that we do. Mm -hmm. He's just better skilled at this game yeah, yeah. for now. But we're catching up, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Scotty, if you're watching this, <laughs> there we go, man. Tee box is yours, man. You beat us that hole. Right. Off the yeah. tee, it's straight. Then, the, then it goes right after that. Yeah. I think he tried to pull it. Good balance, I got. It's open door. Yeah, good balance. You said I had that uh, good balance. So I had that Scotty oh, yeah. balance right oh, there. Oh yeah, the. Uh, I was running. That, yo, it's it's footwork so unorthodox, man. But whatever works, right? That's it. <laughs> I saw I heard it. I saw the tree. I heard it, but yeah. You know what? T Wade just hit a better one. Dang it. Uh yeah. Hey. You wanna use it? Wow. You wanna use it or no? Yeah. Yeah, we could use it. Okay. Dang it. Same, shot. Same ball. Jeez. All right. We did the same thing, too, what? And that's All right. what's so hard about golf is like, I'm trying he's, to film. he's getting more over here. And if, if I'm over here, where do you think I'm going to swing? I came across. Well, I'm saying you don't have any incentive. Watch, uh, get another ball. So you, you are aiming way right, okay? So if I'm aiming yeah. way right, where do you think I'm going to swing? Well, my swing probably across. Yeah. More, right? So go ahead and tee your ball up. Tee it up a little higher than normal, like a yeah, half, yeah, half an inch a, higher than I normal. I use a dumb tee. Now go ahead and set up like this, okay? And I want you to miss, set up parallel to this. I want you to miss this tee on the way back and on the way through. Okay? Don't, I don't care where the ball goes. All yeah. I want you to do is miss this tee both sides on the way back and on the way through and just swing. Okay. That club face is open there. Club face, right. But that's, that's the path that you need to see. Yeah. That's actually a straight path. That's yeah. how far right it's going to look to you. Yeah. And then, then all you want to do is set, do it again, set up again. So the same tee. Now watch, bring the club head to me, bring it to me, like that. Okay, so you want to get it out here and turn it over. So now go to that spot again, swing it inside, swing it inside the tee, come back down in the tee and turn it over, turn it over out towards me, this way, not, out, not over there, oh, okay, okay. towards me, inside the tee, there you go, bring it out towards me. 
Yes, like yeah. that. And that's going to make your ball go like, you're going to hit it so far when you do that the first no, time. No, I can't wait. Everyone tells me that. It's going to be awesome. It's false rumors right now. Yeah, that's good. It's just <laughs> right now you're seeing, it's like if you if you were standing, if you and I were standing facing each other and I saw a nine on the ground, what would you see? A nine on the ground? If oh, I saw oh, a nine, six. six. Yeah. So the way that you see it is what you think is real. Mm. And that's why you keep doing stuff to fake. Cause it's like you're seeing like, oh, and you got you got to do got to change the way you see it yeah so that's why you're like even when i set you up like that you're going yeah because it's you're like ah that's not what i see yeah well you're not going to change until you go you know what i'm doing that yeah okay so commentators yeah the player will hit a shot and then the commentator will be like oh that shot where he lied he's going to hate that when he gets there oh if he gets out of here it's going to be an absolute miracle it's going to be the best shot mm -hmm. be okay some of that i believe and then some of it when the player hits the shot, you're like, okay, obviously you're a freak of nature, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just wonder, are they, how much are they exaggerating and how much is the player just making it? I don't know how much they're exaggerating because that would be speculation. So I can't mm -hmm. answer like mm -hmm. what they're saying, if they're coming from their heart or if they're exaggerating. Oftentimes what happens as a caddy even is you might cast your fears on your player. So like, uh, let's just hit a chip out. And he's like, dude, let's just hit a five iron on the green. And you're like, no, I, I like chipping out. That's your fear. He's like, dude, I'll just hit it right there. So a lot of the commentators have played, failed, or have scar tissue. So that could be their scar tissue that they're, and you know, as, that's great advice for a parent. Oftentimes we're like, no, 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 get down from there. Don't do that because <laughs> I got hurt once. You know, we cast our fears on other people often. Mm. And so the, that could be what's happening. Mm. I'm not saying it is, but that's what I would suspect. Set 237 to it. 237. Oh. I overthought everything. Yeah. It's crazy because you asked him, like, back in Arizona, I'm so good with the three wood. Not in Lafayette, though. Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm really good without the camera on me, so I'd be about seven under right now, DK. I'm really good without golf clubs. It's crazy, man. You, oh, we'll find a tree. That wasn't the line. There's a lot of them out here. <laughs> no. All right, we're going to go straight across to my ball way over you there. You go with them. <laughs> All right, little ant. Get off of there. I want to take you for a ride, little buddy. Come on. Go f <laughs> get off of that. You might want to. I'm, I'm going to be going close to that tree, so you might want to uh, protect yourself at all times. In the words of Bruce Buffer. Ted, I have no idea who that is. You have no idea who Bruce Buffer is? No idea. He's the guy that goes, oh, let's get ready to Okay, roll. yes, like, yes. Protect yourself yes. at all time, men. Come out yes. swinging. That's the guy. Yes. Y'all be y'all seriously be careful because if I don't hit this right, it could be trouble. Oh, so unlucky with that tree. Did it cut? Yeah, it's sure. It's handy. Didn't quite cut, but I, I got it through there. That was step one. If I hit it too low, I'd have hit those roots right there. Yeah, Bro, fire. Y'all have it fun? Oh, you brought the you just gave it to Dude, me. Dude, those are illegal in three states, honestly. Right, yeah. They, they're, yeah, they're that good. I'm serious. What's that? No, 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 no. Yeah. Wow. Hey, let's let's show them the. Oh, let's watch. <laughs> yeah. That's close. I mean. That's that's the Pauline. I'm not gonna, so. I'm not gonna show you my good leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good cookie, dog. Dang, think about keeping it low. DK All feels right. confident. Back up, DK. Watch out, DK. <laughs> so good. You're so cool. What would you? Bounce through the bunker up there. Ah. Uh, oh, it did. Who are you? What would you hit here? For? I mean, how hey, you see the thought though, here? right? What would you hit here? <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't. I, I had. Yeah, a, I was driving 30 miles to get those, man. I was like, get those away from me. They had to bring them on the trip, and I ate every single one of them. Yo, DK, should I should I aim to the left or the right of the bunker? Well, the left will uh, maybe get me on the green. Right. Why don't you just hit it right at the flag? You got a spinny lie and a, and a spinny wind and a spinny ball. Ah. That's not bad, though. Good up there. Now, just out of curiosity, why wouldn't you hit, why wouldn't you hit a, a like a like a pitching wedge and hit it at the pin? Honestly. I wanted, I wanted, I had, I had a 56 in my hand. Come in. But the reason why is because. No, come here, come here, man. Let's go. Get your get your pitching wedge out, P Dub. Okay. Hey, for Mr. sure, Mr. P Dub. Yeah. Hey, shout right. out, shout out to Twins, Twins, Twins Bakery or Twins Burgers. What is that? Twins Burgers and Sweets. Shout out to hey, Twins my, Burgers and Sweets, man. Hey, my man said he's a rapper. My man, well, he said that you and you are rappers. I can. Y'all got a sixteen or? So here's what you're gonna do: choke down. Okay. 
choke down on it a little bit and don't set up to it yet. Set up to an acorn. Oh, oh, sorry. Set up I was listening to two yeah, things. Set up to an acorn. Set up like you're going to hit eight. We're going to practice this. Take a wider stance. Okay. Now, when you take it back, I want your head to go down and forward when you take it back. Take okay. it back. Okay. Not that much. Just a little bit. Just barely that way. And then stay there and swing. Okay. So that's what you're going to do on this and just hit it. Don't think about anything else. Just down and forward with your head. Wide stance. There you go. Go right at the pin. Oh, okay, you, you went yeah. like this, watch. You went, look, like this right here. If you stay where you are, you'll hit that perfect. Do, do one more. Hold on. It, 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 felt, it felt perfect. Yeah, so th this is actually not that hard of a shot for you. It really isn't. It's just you got you to gotta make sure that the, the challenge here is to hit the ground in the right spot. Mm -hmm. The reason why you want to move forward is because you, you want to hit the ground farther forward. Uh, See how good that was? That, yeah, well... <laughs> I early I release really early. Right. but yeah that's so the thing is you know, on a on a tough lie where it becomes difficult is contact yeah so you got to make sure that you contact the ball before the ground so when you when you're moving over behind the ball you hit the ground you get nervous you just like you chunked your seven iron but it should be if you can move forward you have a better chance of hitting that all right I'm on four now oh are you really yeah chunked it wow Oh, I'm about to say, no way. <laughs> Could have been a good par. Yeah. Can never get to sit, though. <laughs> That's a good shot, though, out of there. Thanks. You hit really? you chunked one. Really? In the tan, yeah. Door's open. Did you chip from here? Yeah. All right. Hey, so, hey, like here. Go! Mm. Yours is uphill. Right. So, play this. I got some putts at it. Things, nice. Things, quarantine, for me, conspiracies. Hey, man, y'all go stream Thoughts in the Back Room and Life is Fragile. Dog T. Wade, man. Mm. You see it, you see it, you see it. Whew, that's a good putt. You're a good putter, man. Thanks, man. Y'all you, you heard that's Ted Scott, You bro. can roll your rock. I love <laughs> it. You be my putter anytime. <laughs> Nope, nobody likes T Wade. Fight! I mean, Dang good putt. Yes. Good putt. I mean, good, good putt, putt, bro. <laughs> good putt. That's my favorite song on that project. Oh, so, dang. so what? We both bogey. He par. Par. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coming for you. All right. Well, first off, I stand correctly. I think you're plus one. We're one under. We're not playing bad golf, but we're letting you close the gap so far. Uh, we're on hole eight. So these last two holes are really important for me and T Wade. But uh. On your social media, man, you do these things called Sunday sermons. I enjoy watching them. We just watched the one about the Alabama LSU situation. Uh, but what what called you to start that series? Yeah, I mean, I love to learn anything. So anytime I can get around people better than me, I just I, I want to soak up what they know. And so when I learn something, I just feel compelled to tell other people about it. And one day I was just sitting around. I was like, you know, when I got something on my heart, it was a Sunday. I spit it out on the social media. I was like, Sunday sermon, you know, yeah. just kind of whatever. And then people were like, that was cool. And I said, well. A couple months later, I had another idea to do one, and then people started saying, man, you should keep doing that. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just got encouraged to do it. And uh, I don't do it every Sunday. It's mainly yeah. if God leads me to say yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I really just like sharing information that can help people. And mm -hmm. so, you know, that's kind of my passion. And so that's really why I do it. I just, I just want people to get better at life. It's like I want to get better mm -hmm. at life, you know. It's awesome, too. I think it's in Mark 16, 15. He says, go out to all the nations proclaiming the gospel. And, it, and it's good that obviously you're doing that with uh being boastful in that, uh, obviously this channel, uh, the priority is the gospel Amen. and being boastful in that. Um, we're not playing for us. Obviously right. we want to see people uh, see Christ through us. That's right. Um, and hopefully we can see Christ through your swing right now, so it's on you. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely need some. I need close. some of that. Close. Close. Yeah. It won't be perfect like Jesus. I can do that. Not bad. You like it straight, straight down the middle. You know what I mean? It's not bad. She <laughs> straight down the middle. That was okay. That was better. Hey, open, hey, open your stance up a little bit. This way? No, other way. That feels closed. But if you see it, okay. No, you're. T let let him know, Ted. Yeah, you need to aim more left. With your. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. No. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, now you now you're good. Now just swing. If you fade it, that's gonna go down the middle. Yeah. If you swing to the right, it'll draw and go down the middle. Dang it! Oh, if that tree wasn't there, it would have been a good spot. Dang. I think a big part. Uh, 
think a big part of it is I can't, I'm, I'm not moving. Like I, my body's been hurt, just haven't been able to move. It's on that hill. That won't hurt you over there. It's gonna be a tough shot. You guys make double easy from there. <laughs> That's crazy. Get through the trees, That was please. so nice. I, I didn't see where it fell. I didn't either. I'm having trouble seeing it. But that, 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 that was, was hit good. Yeah, it was, that was, yeah, it was great. Tight. Too much, Torrance. Way too much. Damn. Jeez. Yeah, this is it. You got, um... Thank God. 73 yards. 73 yards. All right, so T-Way's probably a little better at this shot than me. I'm kind of weird with 73. It's like the pins in the back. Y'all didn't hear the cameraman know it said shot's easy. For me, I don't know, this distance is always kind of weird. Yeah. Hey, it's your shot. I'm not good. I'm not good like a 70. I'm not. 60, dog. Thank you. That's Look at this guy. Though. That's super long. No, you're good. It's shot. No, you're that was good. long though, bro. As soon as you hit it, he said, look at this guy. I knew we were good. So, um, wow, look at Ted. Thanks. Thanks out, Ted. Thank you. Hey, man, we got to lock in. This is, we we this, have to lock in. This is a big putt. I need you all to miss. I need to make, and then we'll have a match going into the last hole. I need to make miss situation that's me by the way nice oh drive. was it that's a two-stroke penalty for oh man hey no you guys some... just got a two-shot no. penalty i thought that was yours you picked up my ball it's a two-shot penalty that was yours oh yeah we can edit that out though. that was not mine <laughs> feel for just i just get nervous and do what it feels comfortable you know it's like mm. change the game get to the top leave it, leave it. not high enough yeah i hit mine too right but it it did come this way Oh man. Good tie. Wow. Well, are we are we wait, are we, are oh, we oh y'all was a part for you too? A bogey. Ooh. We both had bogeys. Man. We got a close one going here. I think he's still down two strokes. I need I need a big you need, you need to you need to bring one. You need a hole it's a part three? I need a hole in one. Woo. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. He's All right. gonna use a breakfast ball. <laughs> I get to try my breakfast ball. Try to go try to go for the pin now. Nah. I didn't hold it. Yeah. Alright, the first one's alright. That one's gonna be too far away. Good distance, but That is nice. He got the green. Look at this guy. All we need to do is get on. Oh, he hit it in the green. It's perfect. Oh, gosh. I thought what? you had it. I did. Didn't you hit that solid? Sounded good. Sounded great. Wow. Well, just get on, bro. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already knowing. <laughs> I, I've been All thinking that. All you gotta that. do is get on. That was a nice swing. Let's get it on. <laughs> It's safe though. He's got. He's on land, yeah, folks. Yeah, it's safe. I pulled it. He's on land. <laughs> he made sure of it. He made sure he was safe. That's step one. Land man. Uh oh, that's in the water. Water. Yeah, I was trying to stop it. Sorry. I tried. I stopped the first one, then the second one. I panicked and whacked it in there. <laughs> I think he pushed it in there. I did. I was like, that's, like. that's too bad. I was like, shucks, man, it's so bad. <laughs> I, think he, I think he pushed it. That is nice. Yeah. Look at this guy. Who is this? Who brought him? Go in. What are we doing, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, kid. Great shot. That was awesome. What a great shot that was. I'll get Dance. the pin because that's what I do, guys. Oh, dang. I always forget. I'm caddy. I'm, I get it. I I'm get it. so I used to putting with it I in. Good match. Get the par. You guys two putt for the win. 
I'm gonna get it for you. Though. Oh. I'm gonna get it for you. Whatever. I just want to see if I get a self-made par, man. He needs that. I do for my confidence. <sighs> well, <laughs> it. it's too muddy. Hey, Ted. Thanks for the beat down, boys. Appreciate, Appreciate you, appreciate man. It. Hey, this is your job, man. Thanks. I don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That was fun. Thanks, Ted, man. Thank you, you so much. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. Appreciate you, you watching this episode yes, of Golf and Gospel. Please follow my guy uh, on Instagram. This is Ted Scott. J. Ted Scott. There you go, man. Look out for his Sunday sermons. Again, stream my boy music. Hey, Ted, am I doing it right, man? Yeah, you are. That's good. Is All it right. wet or is it heavy? Life is fragile. Thoughts in the back room. <laughs> Shout out to our boy DK as well. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Golf and Gospel. We out. See you guys. Perfect. Nice. <laughs>